four. This team is already crazy good. Justin Jefferson goes from a 97 to a 98, so that's amazing. Jason Kelsey, same thing, 97 to a 98. Sadly, TJ Hawkinson did not get a team of the year, but that is literally my only prestige who did not get something insane. Micah Parsons will go from a 93 all the way up to a 98, which is so good. Sauce will go 97 to 98. Now listen, I get it, okay? Micah Parsons was probably gonna get an upgrade. I'm not gonna say I have the biggest, strongest, most a million IQ galaxy braid on the planet. However, one thing I will say I have a galaxy braid for is this Megatron prestige, and I didn't expect this at all, but for the season four field pass, you get Calvin Johnson. And if you max this season four field pass out, you get a gold 99 Megatron. So that's for season four right here. Now you're saying to yourself, Papa Meeks, there's no way in hell you will ever grind for that Megatron. You're probably right. However, I do have a couple good friends and if I slid him a couple hundred bucks, I think he might grind my Megatron all the way on this account. And then I'd have four brand new team of the year cards and a gold 99 Calvin Johnson. Also, I want to show you guys my favorite NFL future selections on prize picks. You saw the hoodie. Today's Wheel of Mutt is sponsored by prize picks. And my promo code MMG will get you a deposit match up to $100. And what I wanted to talk about is these NFL season projections that you can make as early as right now on prize picks. Now, I know the season is far away, but let me know what you guys think of my selection. So for quarterbacks and passing yards, I love Trevor Lawrence getting more than 4,075. I just think Trevor Lawrence is geared up for an incredible season, even better than the season he just had. And he just threw for 4,100 yards. So I like like this one. And the next one, I'm going to be a bit of a hater. And I like Derrick Henry to rush for less than 1,300 rushing yards on the season. Now, he had an amazing season last season. He went well more than this last season. But I think it was a bit of an anomaly. For Derrick Henry to stay healthy at his age of 29 and have another spectacular season like this would be shocking to me. So those are my two selections. I'm wagering $20 to win 60. And it'll be fun to track throughout the entire NFL season. So check out Prize Picks with the link in the top of the description. Use my promo code MMG when you sign up for a deposit match up to $100 and enjoy the rest of the Wheel of Mutt. So anyone out of the loop, they dropped the Team of the Year promo. Usually they drop this in January, but they decided to drop it after the Super Bowl this year, which means the cards are even better. Now these cards are absolutely nasty and they're actually very rare, kind of tough to get your hands on. I'm gonna open this 98 overall Team of the Year fantasy pack just in case I can pull one of my prestiges and then I don't have to buy them because I've got like, I've got like 3.3 million coins, but if I bought all the team of the years, I would literally have zero coins. So these are the team of the year fantasy packs. I start with Travis Kelsey, which is a fire pole, but not a prestige. Our defense Damn. is Nick Bosa, also a fire pole, but not a prestige. Then this is a specialist player, which I don't think any of ours are. We got Bosa, Juicy Juice, and Kelsey. I'm just going to sell Nick Bosa, and then we'll actually be able to afford players on today's episode. Let's start with an upgrade that I have been wanting for so, so long. My Micah Parsons, 93 all Madden, has been really good, but he's finally outdated. So there could not be a better time to get a 6 foot 3, 96 speed, 97 block shed, 98 finesse moves, speed rusher Micah Parsons. 97 change of direction is kind of crazy. So if we do get an interception, that's a pretty damn good return, man. For whatever reason, he has 78 spectacular catch and 96 catch in traffic. He has 97 impact blocking. So I guess he'll flatten people if Palomalu gets a pick or something. Thing. He also has 98 hit power, 94 tackle, 92 zone coverage, and 89 man is actually pretty damn good for an edge rusher. 831,000 coins for 98 overall Micah Parson. Next up, we'll take our very first prestige player of the year. Now, someone did comment and say, Papa Meeks, it was so obvious you'd get these prestiges. You're not actually prestige god. Listen, that might be true for some of the players later in the season, but I've had Justin Jefferson as my prestige player since day one, and he has consistently been an insane wide receiver for us. I could have easily picked Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup had an insane last season. Cooper Cup didn't get dick. Although, maybe he... Did Cooper Cup get a team of the year? Maybe I'm not talking out my ass here. He might have gotten a team of the year, low key. No, he didn't. He didn't. I'm right, bro. I'm right. 98 
Justin Jefferson. Now, admittedly, this is pretty much just a plus one, but hey, he went from 97 speed to 98 speed. This is an insane wide receiver card. His route runnings are incredible. Spin, juke, spin, everything's good. Maybe not too surprisingly, but his kick return isn't very good, so I'm not gonna be putting him back there. One thing I am very happy to see with this card, though, is 89 carrying. I know you guys have seen it wheel him up before, but Justin Jefferson was kind of fumble prone. I think it's just because of his weight plus his carrying, but I think with 89 carrying and 91 ball carrier vision. He shouldn't be as fumble pro. 889,000 coins for our plus one Justin Jefferson. Now, obviously on today's episode, you're not going to see anything change with Megatron. As you guys remember the Megatron prestige, I have a choice. I can either have DB Megatron or I can have wide receiver Megatron. It's totally up to me. So until I grind that field pass, <clears throat> that's Fargo grinding the field pass. Fargo, I love you. I'll just have DB Megatron still. Next up is Sauce Gardner. Speaking of Sauce Gardner, he just made his own YouTube channel and he's He's been streaming on Twitch a lot, and me and him are definitely going to be making some videos upcoming, so make sure you check his stuff out. He also got a plus one again. It's not that different than the 97, but he did get a plus one in all the significant stats, like 98 speed now instead of 97. 99 in a lot of stats. Acceleration 99, agility 99, jumping 99. Man is 99. I honestly think these team of the year cards are almost too good. Like, this is a golden ticket. He's got 99 change of direction. To make this a golden ticket, you would literally give it plus one speed, and then it's a golden ticket. That's it. Now, there is one thing to keep in mind with this final prestige I've got here, which is Jason Kelsey. One thing I noticed on the team of the year cards, the abilities aren't that good. I know that sounds weird. Like, the abilities are still great. You get a lot of free ability buckets. It's almost like they nerf the abilities on these team of the year cards. As we go in and build the team and choose our abilities, I'll tell you exactly what I mean. But there might be a scenario where I actually choose to use a 97 over a 98 because of what abilities they get. This is gonna be quite the team building wheel of mutt. I've never been able to add four players to my team without touching a wheel spin. This is fucking insane. This is one hell of an episode, right? Right here, boys. Let's start with Justin Jefferson. So I'm gonna sell his honors card here. Kinda need the money. 97 Sauce Gardener, I'm gonna sell as well. This is still a crazy good corner. I wouldn't be surprised if he held some value. Yeah, he held value better than uh, Jefferson did, but still not great. We'll sell him for 449. Now here's a really good example about those abilities. So the team of the year, Jason Kelsey, gets a nasty streak discounted to one AP. Whereas the 97 overall, Jason Kelsey, has nasty streak at zero AP. I know a lot of people who would take this Jason Kelsey, put him at guard, and then get Nasty Streak for free. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna run the team of the year because it's just so sick to have the team of the year. And the team of the year does have other abilities that this Jason Kelsey doesn't. For example, team of the year Jason Kelsey has zero AP identifier, which is one of my favorite... Dude, that's one of my favorite things ever. I love seeing my opponent's user. And for zero AP, that's an incredible way to get it. So, really happy about that. I will sell the 97 Jason Kelsey, but just... I don't know. I kind of think... I think the way they did abilities this year in Madden, it's just too clunky, too confusing. I'm hoping that next year they find a significantly more streamlined process for it. The fact that I could love a card, but because they don't get a certain discounted ability, the card sucks, is so stupid. I kind of like how they did in Madden 20. In Madden 20, any player could get any ability for the most part, and you could only have three players on each side of the ball with an ability. I'd have to put some more thought to a better route, but I just know right now it's too clunky. Doesn't really matter how much thought I put into it. EA's not gonna fucking listen to me, but whatever. And 93 Micah Parsons. Look at that. Acquired 1104 2022. I got this Micah Parsons last year, bro. November, December, January, February, bro. I've had this Micah for over four months. All right. First up is center Jason Kelsey. My offense currently has two open AP slots. Granted, I am using one AP on a Koye still, so I'm going to take that off right now. Definitely don't need that. So in his fifth slot, he gets Secure Protector for one, Nasty Streak for one, and Matador for one. I think Secure Protector is really important. It shuts down inside stuff, so you kind of need that on your center. And then here, I could get Post Up, Identifier, All Day, or Threat Detector. As much as I love Post Up, I am going to go with Identifier. Completely free. So, one AP on Jason Kelsey, who is boosted to a an actual 99. Holy shit. It's a bummer they don't turn that into the gold 99, but I guess it is kind of a fraudulent 99, huh? 
Now, Justin Jefferson, what can we do for you? I'm hoping you get deep out elite. Route tech for one. Okay, I got no problem with that. Route tech for one and deep out elite for zero. Ooh, or you could run route tech for zero. I guess if I'm running route tech for one here, I might as well run deep out for zero. So route technician, quicker cuts while running routes. Deep out elite, completely free for improved catching outside the numbers. And I can't justify short in elite for two AP. So just like that, I think Justin Jefferson is all set. Deep out and route tech. Granted, that means there is one AP available on my offense. With that one free remaining AP, I'm gonna give Jason Kelsey this one AP threat detector. So what's awesome about those team of the year cards is in their third, fourth, and fifth slot, they get discounted abilities. So even though threat detector here should normally be three AP, they still give you the option to use the one AP threat detector. This highlights blitzers during pre-play on third and fourth down. It's very circumstantial. Like if your opponent isn't blitzing a lot at all, it doesn't matter. But to sniff out a blitz for free on third and fourth down, that's pretty dope. All right, so that completes offense 12 to 12 AP. Granted, if my wheel spins come through and I get a new quarterback, this is all getting changed again, but we'll worry about that later. Now on defense, we have a dominant right outside linebacker in Micah Parsons. I would almost argue we have too many edge rushers on this team now because JJ Watt's an edge rusher. Chase Young is an edge rusher. Javon Curse is an edge rusher. Hassan Reddick is an edge rusher and Michael Parsons is an edge rusher. I almost need like a true linebacker, you know? Although Micah's stats are so good, he can definitely do anything. You can get extra and elite for one fucking AP. That is so good. Oh, that is so good. One AP edge threat elite on Micah. No question I'm running that. You can get Crusher for zero. That makes me horny as fuck. Double or nothing is really good. Pick artist is... Wow, these are all so good. Personally, I'm only torn between Crusher and Lurker. I think double or nothing is one of the best abilities for edge heat. But listen, man, when you put Lurker on computers, they jump like crazy. Like without usering them, they jump like crazy. And then Crusher literally is probably my favorite ability. Like Crusher just gets me so fucking amped, man. I'm going Crusher. I'm going Crusher. That is one AP on Micah Parsons for Edge Threat Elite and Crusher. That is nuts. And of course, we still get discounted abilities here in this third slot, so we can run one more thing. In this third slot, I can get Tip Drill for one. I'm actually just gonna run him just Crusher and Edge Threat Elite. Definitely gonna give him Unstoppable Force. I think if anybody's getting to the quarterback consistently, it's gonna be this Micah. I just gotta make sure he's consistently blitzing. I'm gonna take Double or Nothing off of Chase Young. I think Chase Young's stock just decreased significantly. I like Chase Young. I'm glad I picked him up, but with Micah in there now, I just don't see Chase Young doing nearly as much. So that frees up one AP. Sauce for sure has one AP Acrobat. I'm running that. Acrobats are my favorite abilities of all time. Acrobat's so sick, man. In Madden 20, when there was no AP and you just loaded up players with abilities, I always ran Acrobat. Like, no question. I was just throwing Acrobat on everybody. Or maybe that was 21 or 22, but whatever. You get my point. I love Acrobat. I'm also gonna go Pick Artist, because this dude is gonna be a Pick 6 machine if he gets that ball in his hand. And that's all I need. You usually do run deep out zone KO. That is an important ability, but it's not worth it for four AP to me. And this is what I mean about these team of the year cards. Sauce Gardner does not get discounted deep out zone KO. He gets discounted deep in zone KO, but he's not a free safety. I yeah, I'm gonna rock him just like this. That's one hell of a card. And he is boosted to a 99 as well. So we get 99 Sauce Gardner on defense and 99 Jason Kelsey on offense. We are 35 minutes in and the video has not technically started. I mean, it has, but you get my point. It hasn't. All right, gentlemen, some insane team building out of the way. Let's talk Wheel of Mutt. So last episode was a little weird. I won the fifth game to make it to the playoffs, except that game was total bullshit. I played a guy for like a quarter and then he quit. Or no, he literally loaded into the game and quit. So instead, we went ahead and played an all Madden Seasons game and we got a dub so that I could confidently say we won. But in reality, today's episode is the wild card playoff. We made the playoffs. We need to win the wild card today. If we can win here, we'll have the NFC slash AFC championship in the next episode and the Super Bowl after that. So what a perfect episode to get loaded up with 498 overall players. It actually kind of reminds me of when the Rams won the Super Bowl. Didn't they just like call Eric Weddle up off his couch and add him to the roster? And then Eric Weddle went on to win a Super Bowl? It's kind of bullshit that you could do that. I don't know if I'm remembering that correctly, but that's basically what we did. Like all my opponents were like, hey, I know Pop Amig's Wheel of Mutt squad. He's got a 93 overall. All of a sudden, we just Micah, Sauce, Jefferson, you're on the squad. And that's not even counting the three wheel spins we got right here. <laughs> ah! I hate women! We got three spins on the wheel today. 
to add on top of this nasty team. First thing I'm thinking of is a left guard. I mean, we have so many good players. Ooh, a spin we have never gotten sets. Team wheel. So if I go to sets over here, there's tons of really, really good players that you can get from sets. However, I can't choose anyone. They must come from the team I land on. All right, I can get any single player from sets. However, they must come. So give me Buffalo Bills. It's gonna be the Buffalo Bills. All right, any single Bills player that's in sets. Well, let's just sort by team. We'll go team Bills. There are 18 Bills players in sets. Ooh, there's some studs. Oh, thank God they made the playoffs. They got extra studs. Okay, there's a 97 Cole Beasley. There's a 97 Kair Elam. Ooh, that's good. There's Gabe Davis, Andre Reed. Dude, there's a 98 Naheem Hines team of the year. I just, ha I literally have no use for this Naheem Hines. I have 97 Bo Jackson, who is definitely better. There's 95 Bruce Smith. Ooh, Pete Metzelars. Dude, I don't know shit about this dude Pete Metzelars, but he's six foot seven? What the fuck? Fuck, yo, oh, this guy's a savage, Pete Metzelars. Dude, he looks like a savage, too. I'm about to rock 97 Pete Metzelars. That's a set player. I'm sorry, listen, listen, Hawkinson. Okay, Hawkinson, I love you, buddy. But number one, you're not a Detroit Lion anymore. So I'm not required to suck your cock. Number two, you didn't get a team of the year. Okay, if you got a team of the year, I wouldn't even be considering this bozo. This is on you, Hawkinson. It's not on me. Now, an important question for Pete Metzelars is what abilities do you get discounted? So Pete can get deep out elite for zero AP. Pretty nice, but the big problem here is he doesn't have tight end apprentice, so he actually can't be my starting tight end. Malik Willis does not have hot route master. He is a super good tight end, though. This is a very strong meta tight end. All right, our first wheel spin gets us a six foot seven Pete Metzelars. So excited to use him. And our second wheel spin. Ooh, okay. Oh, I said okay like I was excited, but I realized I still can't get a quarterback with this price, I don't think. I can definitely grab a better left guard, though, so I don't need Colton Miller at left guard. I get two players, 75K for each of them. All right, so we'll get an MLB two and a left guard here. We just barely can't get Kenyon Green, 93 left guard. But we can pick up Lakin Tomlinson if we choose. He gets zero AP screen, one AP post up. I'm gonna grab 92 Lakin Tomlinson. Now, I think middle linebacker, will certainly be a nice upgrade here over Ken Norton. Pretty much all of these guys would be an upgrade on Ken Norton. In fact, we could get Ken Norton himself. We could upgrade Ken Norton with the next highest <laughs> legend version of himself. I could get 93 Erlacher. As much as I like Brian Erlacher, the best choice here is Demario Davis. 65,000 coins. I won't use any abilities on him, but he's 6'2", 92 speed, 95 hit power. So that'd be a solid upgrade on Ken Norton. Nothing crazy there, but this team's so good. All right, our third and final wheel spin before before we hop into the wild card playoff. Ooh, is that gonna be one pack? Oh. This has a lot of potential, but my team is so good, I definitely would have preferred a choice here. What I really wanted was a quarterback. Like, I really don't want to take Malik Willis into the... Whatever. I can do it. I can fucking do it. I can take Malik Willis in and win like this. I get one pack, and I can pack a punch one player from that pack. You guys have seen this before, but let's pretend I opened this weekly wild cards player pack, and in it was a core elite Patrick Mahomes. That means I could get the gold 99 Super Bowl MVP Patrick Mahomes. The pro game day pack is 385 pluses and 482 pluses a total of seven elite players we only need one of these players to be somebody amazing who has an amazing car we start with full Runzo Fadakasi. i don't think you have a gold 99 buddy i'm just gonna say it legends great because oh my you're shitting ken norton you piece of shit i just got rid of you so the 93 ken norton is the pack-a-punch version. So the best Ken Norton you can get is the 93. So this doesn't change that much for us. Corley, Justin Simmons, Justin Simmons. Don't tell me that fucking frog got a team of the year. Ooh, I thought for a second Justin Simmons got a team of the year. He didn't. But Justin Simmons does have a 94 overall. Ghosts of Mutt. Six is a legend again. This has so much potential. And they keep lopping. Jeremy Shaq can have shit. And our seventh is another legend. And it's Merlin Olsen. Do you have something good? I swear you do. Merlin Olsen has a 93 D tackle. I think Justin Simmons is the move here. Damn. Oh, there is actually like a ton of really good ones, but our team is too damn good. 94 Justin Simmons is going to be our one pack pack a punch.
torch. 6'2", 93 speed. He's not a God Squad player. He doesn't really hold the torch to those team of the years, but I love Justin Simmons' cards. He's always been amazing. And he's currently on my Seattle Seahawks franchise, and he's been amazing there too. So I gotta, I gotta show some respect. I also think he probably gets a free ability, so I might as well throw it on him, right? He may not get reps, but he should get something for free. Chuck out for free. Why not? It's free. With the team fully assembled, the final thing for us to do is spin the challenge wheel and hop into this playoffs game. Our challenge is to get 100 plus yards with two separate players. Now, keep in mind, this is the playoffs. Winning a playoff game gets you one of any pack in the store, not just coins. You can use training as well. So right now, there's a 90 plus combine. I'd probably do that or the training variety pack because the training variety pack does have a small chance of getting me a limited, which would be gold 99 Fred Warner, which is by far, hands down, the best user in the game. But of course, we've got to complete the challenge first. So if I can get two Two different players over 100 yards will be in business. Josh Allen, Jamar Chase, Sauce Gardner. Whoa, this guy might have me be. Hey, Pete Metzler has made it to the top three, though. Nice shit. What are you guys? If you win the coin toss, are you a kick guy or are you a receive guy? Because I have always been a kick guy. What the fuck just happened? That's fucked up. Man, I got a good team and everything, too. You shouldn't be able to walk untouched to the end zone. <laughs> I guess you can't walk on touch of the end zone because you decided to showboat and you don't get the touchdown. You're going to come out and QB sneak because your mother never loved you. Uh, we'll see if we can stop it. Ooh. <laughs> you bet your ass, buddy. Oh, you better hope. You better hope you punch this shit in. Oh, you owe it to everything to put this ball in the end zone right now. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Third and goal. You know his palms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms hey, spaghetti. Yo, the There's fuck? spaghetti on his sweater. Fuck! We have to get this stop. Oh, good ball. RPO read bubble. That's definitely a handoff. Bo Jackson trips, but not after six yards. Good start. We're there, man. Ooh, good angles, Bo. Little hard cut. You're a pussy. Switch on! What are you, are you watching Madden or are you playing Madden? Come on, buddy. We're just gonna take the easy one here to Hawk. Get a nice stiff arm. I got to get this touchdown right now to get the nerves off my chest. I have a lot of nerves right now. Third and two, I'm going for it. Let's go. Yup. Because I can see that they're not blitzers. That's so nice. Oh, 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 oh that's why you said the fucking pocket. Was that Metzl or was that Hawk? Oh, it was Big Hawk. Let's go, Hawkinson. Seven to seven. The patience pays off. The main coverage got torched. Vinatieri is going to put this BAT in. Anything's possible. What did he just do? Oh, he just fucked up. He fucked up bad. Let's go. So last drive, you had to go one yard. This drive, you have to go 90. Let's see if that affects your play at all. Let's fucking go. You think it affected your play? Yeah, it's a little harder when you don't start on the one, huh? Safety from JJ Watt. All right, CD Lamb, hang on to that football. Starting at the 27. Dude, you better fucking pony up. You better get some men in the box. Four rushes, 59 yards. Bo's already almost at 100. He could fucking avalanche the shit out of me with Prez, though. I gotta stay away from his user. That's fine. Think I can hit Hawk here. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. Yes. I'm gonna go at Prez. I'm just a little scared of it, man. Good blocking! Look at Kelsey with the nasty streak. Jamal Adams no longer has avalanche. Let's go far left side. Oh, cut that up. Just take what you can get. All right, Mr. Metzelars, what are you made of, buddy? Hawk, beautiful ball, beautiful catch. Let's go. I milked this thing out. I score a touchdown with a two possession lead and the ball at half. That is a hard sell. You'd have to sell the shit out of the game to lose that. I'm going to send Bo to one side and Metzelars to the other. Oh, look at Pete. Who, who are you? What the fuck? Metzler's just tossed. Team of the year, Sauce Gardner. Oh, what a dude. That sauce could have picked me off. If he had switched on and held Y, he might have had an interception. Uh, okay, right side run. That's going to get filled by Palomalu. Now I think it's going to be play action. It is. It is. It is. It is. Same play from before. Oh, what a ball. Holy shit, what a ball. I gotta send Micah every time. He's too good to not send. Ho, 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 as I say it. Micah with the TFL. Ooh, that hat pack might be open. Yep. This guy's reading my mind. Come on, you're too antsy. You're too antsy to pick this up. Ah! Good play. Half back. <sighs> nice pass lead to the outside. Keeps that. That was clean. Oh. God damn, he is 
feeding that to Jamar Chase. I'm going, man. Oh, damn. He marched down and scored respect, but I'll tell you what. He used all his timeouts. He really salvaged that clock almost to the point where I could get down and get a field goal. 31 seconds. I have two timeouts. That was a really good drive. Mm, beautiful throw and Irvin is good enough to make big plays now that's a huge one 22 seconds left we're out to the 45 Bo beauty fucking beauty are we field goal range I have no timeouts left I had to get up there and snap that bitch there we go let's go how are you gonna let that up man 55 yard field goal Adam Vinatieri I got zen kicker all right full power and I just need good enough accuracy let's go that was beautiful execution Getting away from the run would be very selfish and very stupid right now. So I have to make sure I don't do that. Ooh, CD Lamb. The fucking spectacular. I didn't mean I need to run the ball right there. I just meant I have to remember. Right now he's loading the box. I could not run against that defense. Inside zone, he doesn't even pinch the D line. He just took the L. Straight up took the L on that one. Oh, that was a little sketchy, but... Oh, never fucking do that again, Matt, ever. Quick audible to inside zone, and I'm still gonna go, yup, yup, yup. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh my god, no way. He passed, come in. Oh my god. Don't study, just backfired. <laughs> Let me explain. I came out in X under, which is a pass play. His film study showed it. So we pass commit. I audible to inside zone and snap it as fast as humanly possible. I never thought film study would screw you over like that. He's in gun bunch. He's been running verts out of this and it's been really effective thus far. He got nothing right now though. Like literally nothing. <sighs> That is so sketchy, no! Oh, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. That did just hit me in the chest, but I thought he was gonna catch it and I was going for a huge hit. It said bad timing ball hawk, which is kind of generous. I literally wasn't even holding wide. That's where Micah Parsons gotta intercept that though. All right, we're guessing pass, playing deep. We know he's passing. I see a little delay out of Gronk. Is that what he's looking for? No, sir. No, sir! Marcus Williams, get your ass up! Let's go! This game is over! We're doing everything perfectly. No turnovers, spectacular offense. Let's go to the edge with Bo here. Ooh, ooh. Come on, you're gonna break that, Bo. Irvin's got 20, Hawk's got 44. What does Metzelars have? Okay, that works for me. <laughs> Remember? Hey, 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 buddy. Remember? Yeah! Yeah! Remember when you showboated on the kick return and almost couldn't score? Remember when I proceeded to drop 32 on your fucking head? Yeah, do you remember? Woo! That might have been one of the best games of Madden I have played in a while. One win closer to the Super Bowl. Now, unfortunately, he did rob us of our chance to complete the challenge wheel, which is a bummer. However, one thing I remembered. Last episode, I forgot to get my pack for the challenge wheel. This isn't anything special, but I will open one training variety pack for the challenge wheel I missed. I don't expect to get Fred Warner, but if I do, hey, look, it's it's a common it's a common strategy item. So, no big deal. Additionally, the Rage Quit wheel would give me an upgrade for Michael Irvin, but Michael Irvin is maxed out, so the only thing we get for that Rage Quit there is a spin on the Rage Quit wheel. I might be at the point where no matter what happens, I don't know if I'm replacing Malik Willis, man. He had a great game right there. We get a 93 overall jackpot, and guess what? I can get that left guard that I wanted. I wanted an actual 93 left guard. I can only afford a 92, so this is perfect and i won't be putting abilities on my left guard no matter what since none of the 93s get free abilities so i'm gonna take Kenyon green it's probably gonna be rare that i actually add houston texans players to the team so we gotta you know we gotta do what we can do headed into the nfc championship coming off one of the hottest wins we've ever had whoever we play in the nfc slash afc they should be concerned we've got one of the craziest tight end duos you'll ever see in hawkinson and medzelars got big mike irvin cd lamb and justin jefferson got bo jackson who played like a stud and malik Malik Willis, the 92 overall unsung hero who has been slinging it all season long. Defensively, we got Marcus Williams, the limited, Micah Parsons, Isaiah Simmons, the Harvest November God, Demario Davis, Hassan Reddick, Troy Palamalu, the Prestige, Sauce Gardner, 99, JJ Watt, who now has a safety on his resume. And of course, got ourselves Adam Vinatieri too. That was one hell of an episode, boys. I'm glad I could get you an amazing one. I can't wait to see you in the next one. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace!